I'm going to show you how to do a calibration on the SV104 dosimeter. This is the intrinsically safe version uh, of the dosimeter. This is the uh, calibrator. It has one single uh, 114 decibel tone that it puts out. Some of the calibrators have two tones, so you have to make sure you have the correct tone selected. On this, you just have the on-off button, and you have the hole for where the... Uh, dosimeter goes in. So this is the SV33 model. So the dosimeter is turned on. With the intrinsically safe version, uh, the video fairly close because I want to show you this, it's actually when you're unscrewing the, the, uh, uh, the this part of it, it's a reverse thread. So um, some customers will get it and try to unscrew it the wrong way. So we need to make sure that we pay attention to the way the arrow is to unscrew this. On the non-intrinsically safe version, it's just a magnetic coupling, so it just pulls right off. But so anyway, um, this is so the in the software it set this up for automatic calibration. So I've clicked the top here. I've got the dose or the uh, calibrator turned on. I put it over the top, and we should see the dosimeter recognize that the calibrator is installed. It may take a couple seconds for it to pick it up. Okay, so it says it's auto calibration. There's a bit of a delay. It's doing the measurement. Now it's normal to have some drift and it'll actually tell you um, the correction for the calibration. You accept it. Okay, and you can see it's dialed into 114 decibels and I'm ready to... So I do this calibration before I go to do testing for the day and then also at the end of the day to confirm that nothing's happened to the dosimeter to cause it to drift.